Urban air mobility is a rapidly evolving space and many, many companies are entering the market, but one company that's been around for quite some time looking at this unique prospect is Joby. And I'm delighted to have their founder and CEO, Joben Vivert, here. First of all, it's great to have you along. Can you give us an idea, for those who don't know, what the Joby concept is? So we're building vertical takeoff and landing electric air taxis. These are fast, quiet, and affordable ways of flying to your daily destinations. Now, affordable is the key thing because everybody wants this to be something that we can all use, a price point that's good for everybody. I think when it enters a market, clearly it's going to be at the higher end of that market because it's got to start somewhere, correct? Yeah, so we look at this uh, entering the market at prices comparable to what you pay for a, a taxi in a city like uh, New York or London. And so that's at, at a, a little bit of a premium price point as the manufacturing volumes go up, as the utilizations go up, we want to bring that price point down and make it more and more affordable over time to, so that it becomes a daily mode of transportation. When any new concept comes on, the public have to get on board and something like eVTOL is not so out there because we have helicopters so we're used to vertical takeoff and landing but it's a very different idea particularly with the electric side of things. So how do you get the public on board and how do you start appealing to the public more? One of the things that's really remarkable is when people get to hear our aircraft for the first time, they, they get an understanding of how hard we've worked to change not just the quantity of the noise, but also the quality of the noise. And I think, this, uh, you know, many people think that, oh, if you make an aircraft electric, it automatically becomes quiet. That's not the case. You actually have to do a lot of really hard engineering to take the, the acoustics of the propulsion system, not just the motor, but also the propellers, and to make it uh, significantly quieter. And So we brought the, the acoustics down to the point where in hover, we're at about 65 decibels. Uh, in overflight, we're at about 45 decibels. And so what this means is that we can blend into the background noise level of the city. And what about other use cases as well? Because we know that if you want to appeal to the public, sometimes there have to be some other applications, like maybe medical or something like that, something that has a, a service outside of just transportation. For sure. There are uh, numerous uh, opportunities to provide incredible public good, uh, including saving people time. And what about the training pathway for when you start going to commercial use and, you know, I can get on a, a Joby craft. What's the training pathway going to be like for pilots and ground crew? Yeah, so we start with the commercial pilot and we uh, put them through a training course to give them a type rating to fly our aircraft. We are also training new pilots and we've already set up a training academy to do that. What about something that's fairly unique to Joby and this is pioneering hydrogen electric combination? How is that going to affect what you can offer that's going to be different to many of the other companies out there? Yeah, so we're starting our operations certifying our battery electric aircraft. And this is the, an incredible solution to provide uh, services in and around metropolitan areas. Uh, our battery electric aircraft can uh, operate on, on routes of up to 100 miles and gives us the, the ability to, to fly, for example, the airport to, to city center routes. With Hydrogen Electric, we just demonstrated a 523 mile range. And so what that does is allows us to connect cities and whole regions where, you know, what if you uh, could fly from here in London to uh, the Alps or the Mediterranean? If you're in the US, what if you can fly from Boston to Washington, D.C. or uh, Washington, D.C. to the Carolinas? Connecting whole regions together. And it's also key, isn't it, that uh, you saw these short hops, we're talking maybe Farnborough to Heathrow, Farnborough to Gatwick. You could do these little inter-airport hops. The longer range gives you London to Manchester, you could do that very simply, very easily, with this range that you, the capacity you have, it's a no-brainer, right? So that then, when we talk about levelling up in the UK, that then brings regions together and removes the, the, the time. What sort of time, I don't know if you know the answer to this, would it take to travel, say, from somewhere like, like where we are now in Farnborough to Manchester, say, a 200-mile trip? Uh, so our aircraft flies at 200 miles an hour. There we go. There you go. We're not even going to do the maps for anybody, so you can <laughs> work that one out. Anybody sitting on their motorway when they're, you know, they're trying to get to Manchester would know that that's a considerable time saving. So look, it's very, very exciting. Just for yourselves, when are you expecting to see your offering come into the public domain? 
So we're uh, planning to launch our commercial services next year. Yeah. This last year, we delivered our first aircraft to the DoD at Edwards Air Force Base. We're delivering another one later this year and uh, two more to the DoD next year in, in Florida. So this is happening and it's happening today. It's uh, incredible. I've been on this journey for 15 years and uh, to be right at the start of the commercial operations and to re you know, realize my childhood dream of taking our uh, species and moving us into the air for daily transportation is just phenomenal. And sustainably as well. Look, Jobin, thank you very much indeed. It's been a real pleasure. As always, if you haven't checked out Joby, do go and have a look at what they offer because it is pretty impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Cheers.